All right, I thought we'd make another Mr. Nobody video. We're gonna look at the word democracy. Specifically, we're gonna look to see if we are individually franchising. There's more than one way to send 100 million people to the polls. One of those ways is as individuals. 100 individuals, 100 million individuals going to the polls is in mathematics, something called the wisdom of the crowd. The group is smarter than any individual in the group. And while all people in the group have a say, including the fringe people, they don't really have a voice. They have their proportionate voice, which is what you want. Democracy, individuals, individually franchising, each one visiting multiple pairs each of 435 plus X pairs of people. The problem is 90% of the time, the one with the most money is winning. Mitch and Nancy published us a ballot casting system where the one with the most money wins the who's a better candidate contest at a 90% clip. There's a lot of things that could happen when 100 million individuals go to the polls. Some of those things, see that red dot? That's, that's like how many times the one with the most money could win nine out of 10 times. All the blue dots are all the times, groups of chances where the one with the most money could not have won 90% of the time. In fact, it's so unlikely that when we look at the actual mathematics of this later, I don't think this could ever happen. Sending two people to the polls in groups, on the other hand, is the opposite of sending people to the polls as individuals. Boxes of people, in nature, groups of people are sets of things. In mathematics, they're called discrete objects. And using discrete mathematics at 100 million individuals, you can put them in groups. And using discrete mathematics at these groups, you can anticipate the outcomes that will occur. You can't anticipate which outcome will occur from these combinations of possible outcomes. But if you put them in groups and you send groups to the polls, well, now you have many fewer possible outcomes. Not only can you anticipate what these groups will do at the polls, you can affect the process and get a predetermined outcome that you want. If you send 100 million people to the polls in groups, you could definitely end up with the one got more money than the other one winning the candidate contest nine out of every 10 times. The question is, could 100 million individuals visit multiple pairs each of 435 plus X pairs of people and nine out of every 10 times select the one got more money than the other one? And as far as I know, that's a big fat no. I took that class. So if 100 million individuals are picking the one 90% of the time with the most money and 100, I mean, if 100 million people are picking the one with the most money 90% of the time, and 100 million individuals can't do that, then the 100 million people are in groups and they're going to the polls in groups. This is not the will of the people. This is the will of the people paying for the groups. Mitch and Nancy made us a ballot casting system where the one with the most money wins the who's a better candidate contest 90% of the time, which means they already knew who was gonna win 90% of the time. Individuals vote. Groups by pots and pans in predictable amounts. Mitch and Nancy made us an economic system where Mitch and Nancy got the most money at 100% clip. We'll do another video later and we will look at capitalism to see if Mitch and Nancy are practicing capitalism. If Mitch and Nancy aren't, we aren't. I don't think we're a democracy because the one with the most money keeps winning the who's a better candidate contest at a 90% clip. The only people who could tell us are in the math department. Every discrete mathematics professor, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson had to take this class. Winnie from the Wonder Years had to take this class. Someone in the math department needs to pick up a pencil and count or your great grandkids are gonna be digging it up and Mitch and Nancy Spawn will be spending it. Have a nice day.